Welcome to Chuck Builds. I just uploaded a video today and I have a comment from an hour ago from Brian Morgan. I was hoping you would cover adding mapping devices, USB specifically to the resource mapping so that the Home Assistant will always start up. He's tried different methods and gets errors when hardware reboots in Home Assistant because it can't map the device. The ID is not mapped correctly. I have a theory about why this is. Um, so inside of Proxmox Data Center, you go to your uh, your host and then your VM. So for Home Assistant OS, and I'll go to the hardware tab here and you can see I have a USB device, USB one mapped to a port. If you double click this, you can see I'm using USB port and that's port one four. Um, I think what you need to be doing is using vendor device ID so that it specifically grabs this device every single time. So if you click on this drop down, you should be able to choose your TPU, click that and pass it through instead of just a port. And then um, that should pass it through every time. It doesn't matter where it's plugged in or when your Proxmox host restarts, it doesn't matter um, what order it's reading those USB ports, it should see it as that host vendor device ID. And then in a Home Assistant, you would add it the same way. And I'll, I'll do that in a second here. I have to restart actually. Um, so I'll pass this through to my VM and then I'll show you what it looks like inside of Home Assistant. And then the other thing that you probably wanna make sure you're doing is coming over to options and then start at boot and then check this box to start at boot every time for your VM inside of Proxmox. So here are my VM, I'm going to add a USB device. And instead of choosing the port, I'm gonna do, do my Z-Wave stick that I haven't added yet. I'm gonna just choose Z-Wave. So this is the USB port. We don't wanna do that because the port 1.4 might change depending on when your uh, VM starts up. So come up to USB vendor device ID and we'll do it this way. And this is a very specific ID that is just this device every time. And um, if you have two of the same device, it won't work if you're using two Google Coral TPUs, um, but just one, it should pop up just fine like that. And then if we go to Home Assistant, then Home Assistant settings, and then uh, system, hardware, all hardware, we should be able to find that uh, USB device. I might have to restart because I just added it. So once your VM restarts, we'll come over to Home Assistant, go to Settings, System, Hardware, All Hardware, and we can see that we have it as TTY USB 0. And you can call it by this ID or the device path. This is saying, hey, whatever's in USB port 0, use that. This is saying, go find Silicon Labs Zoo stick, Z-Wave stick, and, and grab that. And so for you with the TPU, you choose the TPU one and then use this, then use this ID path inside of your, I'm assuming, frigate um, to access it. Hope this helps.